okay uh, we are in the fourth session of our qgis for beginner tutorials so in this session we will learn about the raster data so inside the raster data we have we will learn about what is raster data okay uh, what is raster clip and then we'll do some raster processing so he'll set slow aspect and then we'll uh, create a counter a contour using this uh, raster data so let's get inside to our workspace okay so i already have this dm data downloaded uh, from nasa website so if you don't know how to download the dm data i have already made a video where we can i have given an idea of downloading dm data directly from qgis so here you can see in this here you have you must see this i button so inside this i button you can go and download QG, uh, dm data directly from qgis so in this case i have a dm data so okay uh, if you don't uh, want to download it so i can i will give this link in the description so you can download this name from the link in the description so you can see this ap sixteen two three zero dm dot tif so i will import this dm data here okay so for this case okay let me go with the district dot shp no sorry local unit dot shp so in this case i'll okay i for okay for this case what i'll do is so uh, basically uh, you need to know about raster data so what is raster data a raster data consists of a pixel so each pixel has an associated value okay so each pixel is uh, represents a value uh, of anything associated with the data so pixel is used to uh, show the value in this uh, raster data so a grid of cells represent data in other words okay it is a matrix of cell organized into rows and columns so each uh, cell has a value that represent information okay chemical concentration and elevation data may be the example of uh, raster data so in this case okay i will use a clip function vector clip once okay so i will use this okay select uh, this uh, first of all so let me select this and then i will select and then you can go to vector and then inside your position loop clip and then select the layer which you want to clip okay select feature only okay yeah and then so uh, save to a file okay i will save this in temporary Delete. and then run okay i will close and then i don't need this local unit so okay after this what i'll do is i will only uh download the dm of this okay use this dm of inside this area so maybe in this case i think it is too small so okay i'll use district data okay so what i did is okay i'll select this district then vector the processing clip Create district and then run. Close. Okay, I don't need this. Okay, now. Okay, this might be fine. Okay, after this, okay, at the first, okay, we'll do raster clip. So for raster clip, okay, you can go to this raster here, and then inside the extraction, clip the raster by mass extent. So input layer will be our dem data and then clipped district will be our max layer and then you can give the okay you can save this uh, okay temporary or maybe a permanently on this temp folder okay i will give this as raster click okay and then save i'll run okay okay you can see 
only okay if i do this okay you can see only the raster data of this individual area can be uh, shown using this uh, raster kit so okay i'll again one click this and, click, and then we'll work on this original uh, dem data so okay we have will be using hill set slope and aspect so in this case uh, we'll go first with slope okay okay what slope does is okay slope shows the elevation value of each and every cell okay so raster is a uh, okay you can see in raster we represent uh, each of the data using a cell so uh, in this slope uh, a cell uh, the elevation value of each cell is shown so for this case what we will do is we will go to raster and then you can see inside the analysis you can see slope so okay you can uh, leave it the as same here your input layer must be the original layer and then okay i'll save this to file as slope okay after this uh, run the query okay so you can see the slope value of this individual okay here when you zoom it you can see this uh, every cell as a unique value so this unique value is uh, used to represent the elevation of each and every point in this raster image okay so let me now use different color to symbolize this data so okay so for this okay i will go with single band pseudo coder and then band one is the gray and then color ramp okay i will use the color ramp as maybe this and then i will change okay so uh, wait, and then we can go with equal interval so you have here okay slope value of 0 to 89.3914 okay it is in maybe it's in degree so okay up to 90 degree so this is the elevation value okay so we will be giving elevation value on the basis of color to individual group of this equal interval so uh, 0 to so for 0 this will be the elevation value from up to 22 this will be and then 44 67 okay like this we have given the value and then i will apply okay you can see this slope value here so this okay you can see this this is the uh, this area represents the uh, represents the with zero, zero, zero slope value and then this uh, this uh, area represents with maximum slope value so you can use this data in slope value representation okay after this what we will do is we will go with yield set okay so for the, okay maybe before real said we will go with aspect so okay aspect what aspect does is it shows the uh, direction of the slope okay so what it does is okay we are from it uh, takes the value from uh, 0 to 360 degree so 0 represents the north and then in anti-clockwise direction okay so in clockwise direction it goes from 0 to 360 degree so for this case what we'll do is we'll go to raster and then go with aspect okay so in this case uh, we'll do okay we'll go with only okay aspect we'll go with aspect oh, sorry aspect and then inside aspect we will have the input layer of uh, uh, the original uh, raster layer and then uh, we'll not change any parameter and save this as aspect aspect okay and then i'll run this program okay so you can see the elevation so okay you can see here you can see 0 to 359 so maybe we'll change the symbology and then we'll go with single pseudo coder and maybe okay okay this is okay and then go with equal interval so okay same and then we'll apply this okay okay you can see um, this this area which is 
dark blue this faces the north and then uh, similarly okay going forward with this data okay this area faces uh, okay so this shows the color shows the area which uh, the slope faces okay direction with the slope faces so zero so faces to uh, the true north and then you can see 89 127 so similarly this uh, shows the direction which the slope faces okay after this what we'll do is we'll go with hill set so basically what hill set shows is okay it shows the shadow of the dam data so it uh, keeps up uh, it gives the hypothetical illumination based on the uh, okay source of uh, light so we keep a source of light of the hypothetical source of light at some place uh, some angle and then on the basis of that it gives uh, the shadow and the, uh, the part which uh, receives the sunlight and other uh, part which do not receive the sunlight so for in this case we'll go with the faster and then go with analysis and we have here real set so in this case we'll go with the original data and then z factor is scale factors okay so let me okay you can see the altitude of azimuth of the light azimuth of the light and then scale so we'll go with all the uh, default parameter and save this edge <coughs> insert insert okay and then run the program okay so after this you can see uh, which portion of the slope receives the okay oh, one one okay you can see this so which uh, the darkest portion is the shadow and the uh, brightest portion is the uh, part which receives the sunlight directly okay so in this way you can okay uh, let me demonstrate all this data And after this, uh, this when you are preparing a map, uh, this data might be very useful in demonstrating. Okay, let me uh, remove the transparency of uh, this slope. Your transparency, maybe I will make this as seventy-five percent, and then apply. Oh, sorry sorry not uh, slow here original okay for this okay let me give first symbology and then I'll do icon interval apply okay and then uh, transparency maybe 75 percent okay now you can see okay. uh, this is how we can show our team uh, data uh, using this uh, raster data analysis tools real set and then slope and aspect so okay now last we have this tool con contour so we can download uh, derive contour from two meters so first uh, one method is okay let me change the color okay for this okay we'll go directly from this layer panel okay we'll select this original dem data and then go with symbology inside symbology you can see render type inside render type you will go with contour and we'll make the interval of the contour as 100 and then you can give this primary and then call colorize as color okay what will be the color oh sorry here is the control symbol and then con insert control symbol we will give the color as this okay after this we will apply you can see the contour so in this way you can get the contour in QGIS. Okay, another way of getting the contour is let me once change the symbology to single single gray and then apply. Okay, after this, what I will do is okay, I will add the transparency 
as 100% and after this you can go to raster set the raster you can see here extraction and then contour so okay band 1 interval will be 100 in this case and then what we'll do is okay we'll save all and then we'll save this as contour contour and then on okay this has given us a contour so we can see uh, in previous uh, when we find out the slope okay this area was uh, the area which was dark blue so it's uh, means uh, elevation was zero so the contour is same for all this and then you can see a contour over this area so this is the contour is the vector layer so what we can do is we can go to vector and then simply simplify the contour so for simplify you can go with um, geometry tools and then simplify the vector uh, simplify the contour so okay we can use three meters so i'll go with the first and then tolerance i will give that okay maybe 10 and then run okay you can see okay you can see and this uh, this was the previous and then this is the simplified version so you can see a difference okay okay this star term are reduced in this simplified version so you can simplify the contour using this simplify so this is in this way maybe we have co uh, concluded our session on working with raster data so if you want to explore more with raster data you can go through more tutorials so in this tutorial for beginner this much is i think sufficient for you to understand the basic concept of raster so okay we will work with digitization in the next portion